All right, gamers, welcome to my new Draven to Diamond series. We're going to be playing Draven's Arrow this game into Ash Morgana. Apologize in advance if my Draven seems like it sucks. That is a small visual illusion caused by the fact that my Draven sucks. This is actually probably the one champion that isn't skill shot based that I actually am not good at, or, you know, in the ADC role at least. In ADC, usually the only champs I suck at are just... Skull Shot Reliant ones like Ezreal mainly and Zeri. But Draven, I just straight up do not have much practice on. And you kind of need a lot of practice on this champion to succeed at him. So hopefully throughout the course of the series, it'll force me to improve on him. Gonna be pushing for the level 2 here. Running Cleanse since their, t their comp is a lot of CC. Even just on the ball end I would have run Cleanse and then Fiddlesticks. Also pretty much demands a Cleanse in the mid game. And the late game. Wanna keep going here? Okay, nice one. Nice, that was a really good trade. They won't overextend too hard if Zara isn't gonna follow up, but the moment she does step up, it allows us to step forwards as well. One mistake that I used to make a lot on Draven, I don't know if I still do, is that I would uh, just like step far too forwards, knowing that my auto attacks beat the enemy ADC's auto attacks. But either due to the wave or because my support wasn't following up with me, even whether, whether they should or shouldn't, they just wouldn't, and so it would cause me to fail. And it's mainly on me for not like noticing my support's positioning and where they were stepping. So you gotta be cognizant of that at all times. It's easy to get baited into going for every single trade on Draven. This Morgana might die here. Got her. Oh, cancelled Nada. Ooh, thank you, Zara, for blocking that. Yeah, dude, I think if I hadn't... I, I'm pretty sure I cancelled Nada there. I'm not entirely sure. But if I did, and I hadn't, then Ash would have been dead there. Probably. Let me just buy here. We're going to be rushing Essence River. But we don't have enough for Sheen and Double Longsword. So we're just going to go for Full and Double Longsword for now. Don't... Oh, no, I should have been pinging her not to touch the wave. Now probably the best thing for her to do is crush it. Anyway, since I have... Uh... Cleanse here instead of a combat summoner. Well, yeah, we don't have the heal to survive. Oh, no, I didn't actually cancel the auto. Never mind. She just wasn't gonna die there. Okay, this turned out to me not too bad because... Uh, Ash missed out on the same CS that I did. But still, it could have been more like... I miss out on 4 CS and Ash misses out on 6, you know? That's the situation we were looking at. It could have been a net gain for me instead of neutral. Zara will need to base at some point as well. well at least she's got, like, full HP, uh, near full mana, still got 2 potions. But at some point she's gonna base because she decides she's got enough gold, and then she's gonna leave me alone 1v2, which is not ideal. Okay, now Ash wants to try and step up to get this last hit, so we want to stand with the minions. We'll ward there, so if Morgana ever steps into it, we can see her casting Q. It's very important to be able to dodge. <coughs> uh, we can maybe run into Pit of Six, yeah? Actually, I don't want to step up 1v2 here. Nice one. Okay. Drop the next there unnecessarily, but I'm overall doing a pretty good job of it. Even in fights, managing to catch every axe. Oh my god, I can't get this axe to go where I want it to. <laughs> because I'm so close to the minion. I guess I'll just slow push this. That's Zara's help, I don't think I crashed it in time. I'm not really afraid of getting ganked by Fiddlesticks right now either. Man, I feel Might be able to kill Morgana there too. Yep, dead. Uh, 
Oh, that's good enough. I'm not gonna bother with plating. I just want a base. And that should be actually my essence river. Six minute essence river, not bad. Currently we've gained 500 gold total from our passive, which is really good. On top of 210 from Treasure Hunter. So we're like, we're currently about 700 gold up compared to any other ADC with any other rune setup. That would have the same amount of kills. That's why Driven is really good at snowballing. So far, so far we haven't had to use cleanse, but uh, we're much more likely to find use for it when we're level 6 and Sash Q and like Morgana Q actually does go through minions. And of course for runes we're running by the way, over heal instead of presence of mind, since we're rushing essence reaver. Don't really need presence of mind if we have essence reaver. Nice one. That should be a call on her too. Nice. And we get the cannon. As you can see the damage is just absolutely insane. Just as long as you can keep catching your axes. If I press W and get my essence for a proc, I can also one shot these costars if they're full HP. I'll use another Q so I can get another essence for a proc. I was trying to hit pedal there. Anyway, I want to get this, hopefully this plating. There we go. And ideally the wave too. There we go. Okay, my team wants to do Drake. It's pretty much over, but I can start walking over towards there in case Fiddlesticks tries to gank or contest this Drake. Next wave is a cannon wave, so we've got plenty of time to pull this base off. Oh. <laughs> That's annoying. Don't be jealous. Okay. Gonna be forced to stay here then. Got a lot of time to pull the base off, but not that much time. Gonna have to look for a new base timing now, which is gonna be after slow pushing this wave and crashing the next one. That's gonna be the next base next good base timing we find. It's not gonna be a perfect base timing, because perfect base timing would be right before a cannon wave. But I don't think it's important enough to super delay our base. Oh. Nice hit on Morgana there. Surprised I reached. Eh. Honestly, maybe we just stay and look for more kills. Ooh. No! Misclick my ultimate, my bad. Oh, no. Yeah, I've killed Ash. That's a shame. If I if she didn't hit level 6 there, I would have killed her. And then, I don't think I would have lived, but maybe. I never know. I mean, I definitely would not have died to Ash. That's for sure. It, I would have had to have been cleaned up by somebody else. I mean, but I wasn't thinking about the fiddlesticks. Uh, we'll get the Infinity Arch components. Just gonna be doing Infinity Arch second item because it's better on Draven than uh, Mythicus. At least we're gonna be doing a lot more damage with it. With this Draven build, you can just three shot people. So the attack speed from Essence River or from Kraken Slayer, for example, would not be quite so in so significant. If you want the more defensive setup, you can also build. Uh, Bloodthirster now. I think, uh, either Essence Reaver into Infinity Edge into Bloodthirster, or Essence Reaver into Bloodthirster into Infinity Edge are both fine. Oop. I know a lot of people also do Bloodthirster into Infinity Edge and in Hilo. I suppose you have to run Presence of Mind for that setup, though. I suppose they just skip their Essence Reaver entirely with that setup. I haven't actually looked into it too much, but we can try that in another game. Look at that damage already. That wasn't even a crit. Just a Q and an Essence Reaver proc. That's her dead, and that's Ash dead. Could have killed Ash as well, but if 
my daughter sooner. Who might be coming? Uh, potentially Fizz. Probably want to get out of here. It's hard to play him when he can just uh, get untargetable until he reaches me. I've already got Infinity Edge anyway. Okay, we see Fizz. <laughs> Honestly, there's no need to shove this wave, but not if I cancel my base, I'll commit to it. My wave clear is really good at this stage anyway, since I just one shot all the minions. There we go. Could also go for the turret, but nah, it's not worth it. If we leave it alive a little bit longer, we'll also be able to kill the ball in one more time, I think. I'm not too confident about my ability to impact the map right now if I were to roam. Damn, a thousand gold from the passive already. Jesus. Treasure Hunter won't go up until we start killing Fizz and Volibear, though. Volibear might take a while. Fizz, you never know, could happen at any point. Oh yeah, Arzara has TP for some reason. I think that's a sort of meta in Bronze. I've seen, uh, at least in the super low ELO games, I've seen a lot of supports from TP. Okay, she's running there. We can aim the ult now. Perfect. Sadly, I ran out of axes. Oh, I missed the E, my bad. Don't think it would have killed him in hindsight anyway, but... Okay, we got one more treasure hunter stack. I've got clans of fiddlesticks all through the wall. I think if anything, I want to try and bait him. So we'll stand near the wall. Yep. Exactly. Probably want to look the base now. I do catch on my call if I stay, though. So I guess we'll stay one with. Hopefully we're not greeting again. Without clans, I don't win that, by the way. That was purely dependent on having clans up. I'm gonna ignore the Drake as well, I just need to recall and spend my gold. I'm not gonna be too much use on this HP anyway. Given I'm a pretty short range ADC. Actually, if I saw this, I can get Bloodthirster already. It's gonna be a much better power spike. Alright, it's completely insane being re items at 14 minutes. Fairly similar to one of my Lucian games yesterday though. Except I'm pretty sure I had even more kills in my Lucian game, it's just that on Draven I get more gold from each kill. Now this is out of oh, he just made my axe disappear, that's actually kind of annoying. I pushed me away from my axe. <laughs> Not been a good past 20 seconds for axes. Really, man? Alright, we're keeping track of pedal sticks. Nice one. Managed <laughs> to catch the axe. Without getting hit by the fizzled. Ooh. I could flash forwards, so I guess I will. Oh, what? My attack move targeted the ward. Just slowing me from reaching my axes, man. That's so annoying. Oh well. I also failed to flash the wall, I'm pretty sure. That was not what I meant to do. I meant to flash through there. After this turret, we're gonna go for the enemy raptors and then check their red buff. If we were in more of a hurry, we would skip directly to checking red. But since I have all the time in the world, since I won't be won anybody, 
Do I have to be in such a hurry? I can fucking see where these X's are dropping, actually. I guess we can just head directly to the upland. This guy's even low, so it's gonna be a very easy gank. I don't think I'll be able to get my axes there, so I'll just save an X until I'm actually here. Nice one. Worst thing would be for running out of both axes right as I'm arriving to the fight and then having no axes for like four seconds. Should be able to just get this thread in one push. Oh my lord, actually, could I just do a mythic here? Oh my god, I can. We'll just keep skipping boots for now, I guess. Um, shield bow should be good. Shield bow is actually a pretty good scaling mythic. Because eventually, eventually it gives the most AD out of any mythic. Should be giving us, yeah, 65 AD right now, which is the same as Kraken Slayer. At first item, it's actually really annoying about shield bow that it gives 15 less AD than Kraken Slayer for the same cost. That is a huge disadvantage. It's a uh, big cost to your DPS, even aside from lacking the Kraken Slayer passive. But the later into the game that it goes, you get all the benefits of the defensiveness of Shield Bow, while actually still getting decent AD, like even more AD than other items even. 10 more AD than uh, Guild Force and... Oh, hang on. Wait, the hip is there? Okay. Yep. <laughs> 10 more AD than Guild Force. And... 5 more AD than Kraken Slayer. And you can see that triple life steal sources. It's pretty nice in fights. <laughs> Jesus. I wasn't gonna reach him. It's just unplayable for them at this point, obviously. Don't know why I just pressed Q there. Need to focus fiddlesticks now. Uh, I should have shouldn't have wasted my E. Actually, I could have uh, interrupted the fiddle W. Then I don't think Volley Bird does enough damage to kill me. Not bad. Another underrated thing about uh, the difficulty behind playing Draven is actually knowing when to press W in fights. Because uh, as an inexperienced Draven player, I just fucking mash it. That's all, I, that's all I know how to do. There's like too many things to keep track of on Draven to also be thinking about when you can press W. Like, the only thing I know how to do is press W every time I catch an axe. Which is not necessarily what you want to do. You'd rather save it for moments when you actually need the movement speed. Um, what are we getting here? Should probably be, I guess... Uh, Lord Dominic's. Or for funsies, we could also just do Collector. I think that's gonna be funnier. The only person we're gonna do significantly more damage to with Lord Dominic's anyway is Volibear. And it's not gonna be a huge deal yet. I think there's no way of arriving, waiting for me there. Um, don't know why I support his play pushing bot. I also don't know why I'm popping top, but didn't mean to do that. Maybe I clicked the map accident. Fuck, I missed the axe.
What is he doing? Got him. Let's get this red buff now. And hopefully we should be able to end soon. I don't want to play with my food too much. <laughs> nice. If I had Collector, Ash was dead there. Oh, fuck. Oh, it was Jax that got the triple. Alright, let's end. So unsatisfying. All right, did you? Victory. All right, gamers, we are back for another game of Draven, Draven to Diamond. This game we're going to be playing Draven Witch into Vayne Brand. I probably didn't need to run Cleanse here. Ghost, I think, would have been fun as well, but it shouldn't be useless, at least, either. I just kind of forgot to uh, swap out my summoners, but it'll still be decent against the Brand for the stun. This thing is the Ari Charm, and we'll be able to get rid of the Nocturne Fear as well, even though I'd rather just flash Ghost run away from him. So she wants to loss at the Coster, so we pretty much just want to stand next to the Coster's. Didn't mean to hit the minion there. Alright, is that sadly to Twitch, but no biggie. My passive doesn't have too many stacks yet anyway. We'll just start slowly trying to shove this in, starting with the casters. Hmm. Not gonna start a bot side, then we probably don't need to be worried about a gank, and I think I think he did. The enemy bot I'm pretty sure leashed. God damn it, I got mini blocked. So my axe is reset. Which also has a trinket. I would be more comfortable if we had a ward and try, but I don't want to go ward right now because I would give up farm for it and drop maxes. I guess we'll base since Twitch is basing as well anyway. I don't have too much gold to spend, but Twitch does. This is also kind of wave, so perfect time to base too. I think in this lane we're just gonna rush the Vamp Scepter actually. I don't think I'll bother with Bloodthirster Rush though, but I guess we'll just convert it into a second item Bloodthirster probably. I just want to do Vamp Scepter because Draven heals a lot in lane since it, um, he heals off of his Axe hits. So basically every auto for Draven does a lot more damage that you can lifesteal off of than other ADCs do. So you can get a lot of healing from that, which will be useful against the Brand Poke. Uh, I wanted to... Ooh! Wanted to steal that, uh, Gromp with my axe. Oh well. Somebody smited it. Ah, missed the cannon as well. Should be zoning her from this. Oh god. 
I might be dead here. Okay, we live. Switch to the wall. Yes, kill goes to me, which gives me a huge cash out. Holy crap. Nice one. To be honest, I thought uh, Brenda just based as well. I didn't realize he was in the river. That was too aggressive considering where he was. We are not in a position where, well, I am. We are not in a position where I can help with the Drake, at least. Twitch isn't doing anything about the wave either, though. Like, he may as well have got to help with Drake. Hopefully, I shove this in time. Start off with the casters, because they deal the most damage to my wave. Alright, hopefully good enough. Should be calling Brand. Oh. Never mind. That's fine. There goes my base, though. Okay, so I'm gonna have to push another wave here before I can base. Hopefully it's not a cannon wave. It's not nice. Alright, I just want a base. We won't even bother with potions since we have plenty of sustain through vamps up there anyway. Feels like it would be a waste of gold. Decent chance I would also have to swap out uh, refillable soon anyway, so we won't get refillable either. Ooh. Damn. Okay. Panthen didn't even have to use uh, Ignite for that, where Shen used both summoners, so that really wasn't too bad. I think the wave stay might be fucked for Pantheon though. We just freeze for now. Drag it out a little bit. Don't need to join it up with the next wave because there's so many minions here that that would be overkill. We just need to keep it uh, close, or uh, far enough away from the turret that it won't die to the turret. Vamsit also helps a lot with this. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the best component you could ever pick up for your draining for your laning phase on Draven is just gonna be always vamps up there. Just gives you so much sustain in lane that nothing else can come close to that much laning power. <clears throat> I got cleanse if I need it. Nice one. That was basically a double kill in terms of how much gold I got. Thanks to my passive. Okay, this frizz is gonna have to break eventually, I think, since it's starting to get close to the turret. Or actually, we have enough casters that we can probably maintain it indefinitely. The melees will run into the turret, but the casters won't. Still, I mean, I've got enough gold for Essence River. Hardly seems worth it to keep staying here. So we'll start sho shoving instead. Could use ult to shove it faster. I guess that's worth it. Didn't quite aim that right, though. God, that takes ages to bounce back to me. What? Press the R very early on. 
Okay, nice. Get off Twitch to make sure Brand doesn't freeze there. Oh, well, he's sort of dead, but it won't hold at least. It's too close to the turret for that. You know, so the Essence River or the uh, Vamp Center actually barely even delayed our Essence River at all. That's really nice. Yikes. Pro Pantheon. Was trying to do Drake again. So it should probably help with that. I just don't want to leave the lane and lose farm. Okay, it's not on the Drake. They do seem to know he's there now, though. Nice one. Ooh. Nice. Good shit. Do you see it? Pantheon. Barely understandable if he just got fucking dived again. <laughs> That's funny. I'm ahead enough that we probably just went 4v5 anyway. He also also ahead. Everybody's ahead except Pantheon. <coughs> Seems to have vision, so I'll just walk forwards and punish. Since he's going for me anyway, cancel my recall. Okay. He's got no dodge thing anymore. Fucking hell, man. Hopefully it doesn't have E soon. Oh my god, fuck, that was close. Okay, she's dead. No assist for me, sadly, but it should be able to get shun. Nice, I've actually got Bloodthirst for a second at him. Let's get him fast. Oh, Ari might save him. I don't even get an assist anymore. He dragged it out way too long. Oh well. Would have been nice to get another Treasure Hunter proc. Yikes. That was literally five people bought overall. I might be able to ult Nocturne here. Let's see. I'll try and time it to also get the cannon, though. Okay, here we go. I got the cannon at least. Nah, nowhere near killing Nocturne. Would have needed the execute for that. I should have, uh... Cleansed a lot sooner, by the way, because I could have reduced the Brand Ignite. Oh god. She should be dead here if she doesn't have ult. Nice one. We actually regenerate every time we press W and get an Essence Super proc, by the way. We gain more mana than the ability actually costs. It's really nice.
Whoops, something meant to press C there, W or Q there. I'm gonna use ult to clear this wave. We can't really afford to step forwards here in case we get knocked on ulted as well. Oh, knocked on is actually top. <laughs> Good time to know that. Get it done with knowing it sooner. Oh well. I'll just get BF sword here. I think getting a massive AD component is gonna be better than getting Berserkers. I know she's trying to cheese me, but I don't know where their bot line is. <clears throat> she can't do anything alone, but if I get ganked by three people at a time, I might die. Doesn't seem to be on me. We'll shove out one more wave here and then rotate mid. Maybe now my ultimate kills him. Oh, dude, he dodged there. What the fuck? Hey, we'll try and do Drake. Wait, he died to a Mumu. What? What was he doing? I haven't been keeping track on the map, I've been focused on catching these axes, oh god. Yeah, they seem to know that I was here. Need to kill this Arvid Foss before Shen TPs? Ah, he's gonna make it, sadly. Yeah, we cashed out the passive before I died, at least. Huge. If I had Infinity Edge, she would've died a lot faster there. Oh well. Yeah, we're not even snowballing nearly as hard as in the previous game, but we still have 1,300 gold from our passive already. 1,500, including Treasure Hunt there. It's a lot of extra gold to be getting. We're gonna go bot now because we want to catch this wave. Vayne is pushing in. Also, make sure she can't get a turret. So that would be about 300 free gold for her. Pretty much the same as a kill. Nice idea of that to be a crit to us at that. Hello, dude. This Ari just wants to cheese me so hard. What the fuck? Alright, first her ultimate. Doesn't even make sense for her to be bought half the time that she's bought, man. Yeah, I think we're all to run out. I'll shove another wave. I'm gonna recover. Then we can rotate mid, but I want to shove another wave here because if I don't... It's fairly close to my turret, so it wouldn't take long for Vayne to shove it in or anybody. And then force me to have to go bot again. So skip it. We skip all the travel time of having to return to bot lane and just shove the bot lane directly now. Then it'll take longer for them to shove in a wave and force me to return. I don't even have a shutdown since we're 4v5, by the way. Actually, I guess I also don't have a shutdown because I think they actually made it so Treasure Hunter and Driven Passive don't give you shutdowns. So that you're not, like, literally punished for one of your champion mechanics.
Ooh, okay. Oh, dude! I forgot that Noctum was gonna teleport Shen to me. <laughs> Fuck, my bad. I should've flashed the wall. That sucks. I was thinking, yeah, this Noctum is really far away from me. No biggie. Hopefully we're on FF. This is easily winnable. Just went too aggressive there and didn't flash out when I had the tools to do so. Makes more sense to use a mid or top. Alright, if we get one more Drake, we're gonna have soul. God damn, that shit is tanky. Even while building full armor and against AP Twitch. Uh, we'll just rotate back mid now. It's not so important to shove in waves now. At least for protecting our turrets. Nobody's gonna be pushing in turrets anymore, I don't think. Hmm. I thought there might be a chance of a fight breaking out there, though, which didn't happen. One, one hit. Yes. It's gonna be on me. Ah, fuck. If I'd played that better, if I cleansed sooner and deed him sooner, and autoed him sooner, I would've survived. Hmm, that sucks though. That Nocturne dive is gonna be really annoying to deal with, because there's no counterplay to it. Probably could've done with not getting massively chunked here though. If I'm full HP, he's not really an issue. <coughs> Yeah, see, if I just cleanse that in this Liotto, I'm pretty sure he dies before he can finish me off. Oh well. Alright, what do we want next? Maybe Lord Dominic, so we actually have a chance at killing this Shen. We'll start off with the Crit Cloak, though. And then final item should be... Shield bow, I guess. Shield bow or actually Gale Force even could be good. I might actually go for Gale Force. It'll help a lot against the Nocturne. We also need vision here. I don't have blue trinket at the moment. Okay, they're not on it. They're just trying to pretend to run it. We could really do with our jungler not being bought. Imagine if they were on Baron, we'd be fucked. Oh boy. Damn it. Ooh, close one. Okay, nice. What the hell? Nice one. She's gonna run away though. Okay, we just need to make sure we're not also in a position where she can stun us, so we need to force her away there. Oh yeah, we can do this Baron. Or actually, can we? Nah, we can't, we can't. I'm on one Twitch for too low. And if I tank, then my damage is hopped. Oh, come on! Fuck, I dropped both axes, how? Alright, thank god we win despite that. I'm amazed that didn't kill Nocturne there, though. Okay, I need very little more gold for Lord Dominix. I think it's 200 more. Yeah. Or I can just sell my Doran's Blade, which is worth it, actually. I don't want to delay this.
Gotta be careful that I actually have my team before I go for aggressive plays like that, actually. Okay. Hopefully this is fine. Fucking channeled. No, fuck. But killed him just slightly sooner. It's just so annoying that it's the no counterplay nocturnal combo with the uh, channeled as well, which usually this counterplay to channeled, but not if Nocturne is just te teleporting himself to melee range of me globally. So I very rarely need this kill force. Kill force will help a lot to put some distance between me and Nocturne, and therefore also distance between me and Shen. Oh boy. Well, that's not good. If he escapes into the brush, there might be a chance of turning. Ah, uh, but he needed to actually fight back. Like, this Vin would be dead if he also turned. Yeah, Twitch is right, it is actually even worse than 4v5. Okay, Vin somehow died actually, though. Not bad. Trying to make a way over here. Aha, <laughs> got him. Fuck's sake, man. He at least dies, but Jesus. I really need guild force, because even the fucking flash is not enough to break the fucking fear, man. It's so tilting. There's no escape, especially because of the dust blade also applying a 99% slow for her. 0.25 seconds also makes it extremely hard to put some distance between us. On top of the fact that he can spell shield my E since I've got nothing else to break his spell shield with. It honestly is a very unfortunate champion for me to have to face when I'm trying to 1v9, but I think we'll succeed at winning this game anyway. It's just a lot harder than it, harder than it should be to play this game out without a team. Actually, for now, I'll just settle for for, for uh, Zeal. I'll either sell this for Mythic once I can afford it, or I'll just go for the Farcanon and then sell Farcanon when I can afford the Mythic. But this will give me some movement speed and also some attack speed, which is all appreciated. Okay, nice, we got the soul. Huge. No vision again. Need team to be on Baron. She's dead. Yep, perfect. Heal me, heal me, heal me. Oh, thank God. Shen did an ult in this time. Oh, hello. Go cleanse if I need it. Oh. Does she have more ult stacks? I don't know, because I could ult her to slower with my Drake soul, but. Oh, hello. Nice one. The Shen will be super easy to 1v1 as well. Nice. Let's just push. No, I'm, I'm not gonna run all the way to Baron when I'm already here. Might as well just push. It should be free. Vayne can't stop me taking this. Hopefully Nocturne doesn't have ult up again when he revives. If he does, I'll probably die. Okay. I might get there in time, maybe. Whoops, not where I wanted to go. Did he just smite? 
Oh god, I just dropped both maxes. Fuck. All good. All good. Okay. Now we can sell the zeal for mythic. So you see how the zeal, it just as a place or a lower item, just had a stronger impact than sitting on Crick Cloak? And now we just get the mythic anyway. It's super nice to do that. Yeah, we got about as much attack speed, I think, or movement speed, rather, as if we'd... We've still got zeal. 1% more movement speed, even. Should help a little bit with the Nocturne. But mainly the dash is super important. I think we should go top. Oh, I'm not turning around for that. I hope they just kill him and leave. Okay, Nocturne is bot, so we know at least Nocturne will be old thing. Oh, that's just a Mumu alone. I thought there was even more people with him. Maybe we, I will. Since he's running towards us, we can run towards him. Ooh, my ult missed. Need to focus Vayne here. Perfect. Vayne does more DPS, so we need her to die sooner. Oh god. No! <laughs> Fuck. That sucks that I was envisioned there. Nothing Gil for us could do about that. Alright. Was there anything I could have done better there besides I should have been focusing in from the start. I can I realize that too late. If I'd killed her a bit sooner. Well, no, it's more that I it's not that I didn't realize so much as I just fucking kept misclicking, mostly because she was invisible and she was right inside of Ari. Kind of hard to avoid the damage then. But I think advancing here for sure is a good move. Cleansed it relatively early. What is that pool even? Oh, that was just Twitch W. Yeah, just a whole lot of damage I couldn't really avoid then. Besides managing to click Vayne sooner. Don't think Gold Frost could have really done much. Well, that's a shame. Uh, we, do we lose every Baron buff there? No, we still have one on Twitch, but it's about to run out anyway. We basically wasted Baron there. Going for that fight on the Shen instead of just actually pushing with it. Hopefully we at least get older now. Oh, uh, they're pushing top. We actually need to respond to that. I can probably just do it by myself, though. My entire team can go for older. And then at least it's 3v3 there. Should be a numbers advantage for us, obviously, but no Pantheon. So fucking slow. There we go. Okay. Now I think we can actually go to Drake. Oh boy. Mumbo does not have ult. I could solo this Drake if I actually kill Vayne though. Even if I don't. Damn. Should I flash to kill her? I don't think it's worth it. No. She's out of the fight either way. I want to save my ultimate, or sorry, my flash, to actually win a fight rather than just get a free kill. What do I care about a free kill with? What I care is taking the main out of the fight, and she is out of the fight. Nice twitch kills her anyway. I don't fucking see these axes, man. There we go. My ult is coming up. Oh my god. <laughs> my ultimate did so much damage to them there. Nice one. Oh, I should be able to sell boots. Hmm, but for what? I don't think it's smart, actually. I kind of need boots against Nocturne. If it weren't for Nocturne, I would actually just sell my boots, I guess, for Yomu's. Oh, 
Oh, hello. Wait, I'm trolling. Got him. I guess Nocturne ulted, or sorry, Shen ulted him, because I think Nocturne got a shield there. I was a bit absent-minded there, though. <laughs> that was not a calculated play. Let's get this turret. Cleanse if I get into trouble here. An enemy has been slain. Should we dead to that? Ah, I didn't need to cleanse. Why why isn't being dead? What? She should have got executed by my elder. That's the only reason I did that. Did her shield come up? Oh well. See, that time though it would have been worth it to flush killer because now she's back like she's back to full HP. I took her out of the fight for like 10 seconds but obviously she's gonna get- we're fighting in her base so she's gonna get that HP back immediately. If I'd managed to kill her then she'd be gone for like the next 40 seconds and we could try and end with that. Obviously we'll still probably be able to end anyway but... There we go. Alright GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Draven to Diamond. This time we're going to be playing Draven Ash into Caitlyn Lux. So I'm going to be running cleanse against this ball in, completely mandatory. Anytime you're playing against a root... Oop, got to reset that, my bad. Against a root support uh, while facing Caitlyn. Oh, nice one. You're going to want the cleanse so that Caitlyn can't just combo her traps with these supports root and therefore just create a one-shot combo where you, you just take a ton of burst and die off of one ability hit we're going to be running presence of mind this game since we're going to be testing that build i mentioned uh bloodthirster rush into infinity edge the bonus of this build is that it'll actually it, it will actually allow us to fit far cannon into the build since we'll just skip essence river entirely if you do this, you could also just do Essence River a bit later on. It's not a complete waste of Essence River with Presence of Mind, especially if you only build it a lot later into the game. But we're going to be testing it with Fire Cannon on this occasion. There should be a kill on Lux. Maybe not then. Ooh, nice one. The Ash W actually created a kill. Figured it was worth at least just trading an auto for the turret shot just in case it would create a kill opportunity. Our autos hurt so much that- oop, didn't notice the trap, my bad. Our autos hurt so much anyway that, uh... We'll just get out of here. That is more or less an even trade. We probably take more damage from the turret than she does from auto, but it's not as one-sided as it usually would be for any of the ready C's auto. <coughs> we'll get the vamp scepter and we can also get refillable. Refillable seems a little bit overkill when you're already rushing vamp scepter anyway, but whatever. This way we're going to guarantee we're always high HP. We've mentioned in the previous game just how good um, Vamp Center is on LM Draven's laning phase. Even if it doesn't maximize your damage, it just maximizes the HP differential between you and the enemy to see at all times. Because even if you don't win the trade as hard as you could with pure damage, in between trades you're just going to be re regenerating a ridiculous amount of HP that the enemy to see cannot possibly hope to match. And it's especially good against poke lanes. So Lux doesn't have tremendously powerful poke at this er these early stages. But she does have some poke. And this is just like a foolproof way of winning lane. Like there's no way this could possibly backfire except by me playing terribly. There's just nothing they can do about it. My champion is just too good in the lane phase. 
I want to prioritize poke on Kitlin. Want to try and stand behind minions or have unpredictable movement though, so we can't get hit by Kitlin EQ. Okay, we want to follow up here just to. Uh... Ooh, I keep losing vision. There should be a call on Kitlin though. Nice one. All right, nicely done. Yeah, the moment they hit that Q on Lux, we know they ideally want to follow it up, right? We know they want to kill uh, Ash off of that, or if not kill her, then still massively chunk her. So the moment Ash gets hit, we're already walking forwards, predicting that they will go on that. And the enemy has two choices. Either turn on Draven and just have to go on him instead of the Ash, which is probably a bad idea, because I actually probably won't be two of them if they stand still and fight me. Or they try and go on Ash and ignore Draven, and they get double killed. What did they do? They ignored Draven and got double killed. They killed Ash in the process, right? I think if she played a little bit better, maybe she could have even lived. I think she flashed forwards, didn't she? That was really weird. But, uh... There's no world in which they can actually kill Ash uh, in a positive trade if I just d immediately go in on them, right? It's just not happening. Alright, that's another call. Oh. Keep not noticing these uh, kill and traps because I'm too focused on the axes. Alright, we can base here. Don't touch that wave. We don't need to cover Ash there because I'm pretty sure she's not gonna die. If she actually dies, that's a miracle. Nice one. We already have blood there. Oh my god, I do. That is insane. Yeah, I mean, this blood thruster rush is definitely a lot better for your laning phase. Uh, you know, for, like, the attempt at winning lane more than Essence Reaver is. Whereas Essence Reaver is obviously just better at getting kills because it does more damage overall. But, I mean, you're gonna have high kill potential as Draven no matter what you build. It's just about, like, maximizing it. And you're gonna have a strong laning phase no matter, again, no matter what you build. It's just about maximizing that kill potential, maximizing that uh, lane phase power. It's just dependent on what you want to do and how confident you are about the matchup. We just focus on zoning right now. We have an unbelievable lead at the moment. We know they don't really want to walk up the trade against us. So we force them to lose a ton of farm if they refuse to walk up. I'm going to force the position really aggressively. Even if I get hit by Lux Binding, I don't really care too much. I would, my, I would appreciate if I wasn't getting blocked so hard, but whatever. We recover this damage extremely easily. This could be another kill. Okay. We'll make it back to the wave in time for the cannon. And we just keep zoning. We had a 20 CS lead over Kaelin. Currently it's turned into a 40 CS lead. Well, almost. It's on the way. This is turning into a slow push rather than a freeze at this point though. Oh, we can uh, just back her up again. Kaelin should have to flash or die here. Ooh, so close. Okay, I guess Exhaust is also an option. We can probably dive Lux here. Damn, hang on. Hopefully I got her. Nice one. Yeah, because I'm so tanky, I've got the uh, Bloodthirster Shield, i got full HP. I can actually afford to just tank up the turret there, whereas I wouldn't on most ADCs. And we burst her down so hard as well with the autos. We know we don't have to commit for too long before she dies. So I don't even need to bother trying to coordinate that with my support. I just tank it myself. I don't have to need... I don't need to for Ash to tank that like I would try and get on other ADCs. Ooh, this Sasha is old. Mm. I'd rather just base though, than try and set up a cheese on Caitlyn. Hmm, fuck it. Let's try it. Oop. Drop the next. Oh, but we got her without 
Having to flash thanks to the crit. Very convenient. We may as well stick around for this plating now. And the next wave won't take too long to farm either. That's fine. Not a risk here. Take more or take less damage from the Q than I would have from the E anyway, so that was worth it. Drop the next, damn it. Let's focus again here. He's dead. Ooh, so close. Alright, there's no killing her. Uh, I guess we'll just shove this wave since we're here. Keep delaying the space over and over. Don't really care about avoiding poke, I just want to shove it fast. This is good. Just flanker. Now we try and get Lux. Okay, we still get her. Yeah, by flanking her like that, we just, uh, <clears throat> kind of corner her and get more distance on her than if we just run in a straight line towards her because that way she'd probably just escape I just got a pop-up saying like an error of an unresolvable nature has occurred and you need to restart. But I have no idea what app did that. Was that replays? Um, was that replay HD? Was that my EA app? I think it looked like the EA app. But why the fuck would that happen in the middle of a game and why would I interrupt my game to tell me that? Ooh. Oh, wow, that was an overkill, I think. Damn. <laughs> so close, though. Oh, I could actually maybe kill him. See if this works. Got him. Let's go. <laughs> Unlucky indeed. For the Zed. We can cleanse. We'll focus on cleansing the exhaust rather than the... Uh, Lux Q, I guess. That way we don't lose as much damage since Killen was just walking into us anyway. Let's get the enemy golems. Hello, Ken. Just not smart from Ken. Like, they basically- they need to focus me or they just lose. That's the reality. I just have far too much damage to ignore. But obviously I'm so ahead that, uh, even focusing me is hard. So just recover all that HP so easily. What is base for now? And what 
what mythic should we do? I think we can do shield bow. It's actually I think I'll do fire cannon. Fire cannon seems really good here. We'll just do a third and then we do mythic. Fire cannon we get a way cheaper power spike. And then we'll be able to hit people with our axes from a super long range. It's also nice to get some attack speed to pair with all of our AD that we currently have. That cost me both my axes though. No biggie. Yeah, honestly, I think I prefer this build to the Essence River one. It was a lot smoother at the threat point when you start building attack speed. And you actually get to put an attack speed item into the build, which you don't with the Essence River build. We just press W right before we catch the axe. Then we wait out for the wait for the movement speed to run out, and then we just press W again since we got the reset. Damn it, right? Wait, he's... Huh. What did he hit me with? Nah. Nah. Can't dive that far. Got her. Look at this healing. It's almost 100 healing per auto. And this is even though I didn't run Bloodline since I knew we were rushing Bloodthirster this game. Damn it. I don't think I need to cleanse that, Peter. Yeah. We can hold it. Alright, we can base. God, I'm sitting on a ridiculous amount of gold. I'd like to get the red buff, though. <laughs> Jesus, he was trying to get that, wasn't he? <laughs> nice. They'll probably get him without me having to ult or anything, so... I won't bother trying to kill Steel. Oh, wow, we can just already get our mythic just like that. God damn. Uh, so it's either Shield Bore or Gil for us. I think we'll just go with shield bow. We could do with some extra life still just to be completely unkillable. At the moment, we're, we're just face, um, like, uh, stat checking everything. And we can do that even better with shield bow. I don't think there's any world where we lose if we build shield bow. Whereas Guild Force might enable us to pop off harder in certain team fights, or get more kills in certain fights, or create more plays, but there is a world where a play might go bad, which is less likely with Shield Bow. Look at that. God damn it. That. That's 150 gold for me. <laughs> okay, GG. Just in time to save the Lux. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Gem into Diamond. Starting off with an invade into the enemy blue buff. 
Got it. Let's go. I have to release my auto early. We'll base for a cool here if possible. Hopefully I don't miss XP for this. I gotta rush out of base. There we go. Can't buy another potion. It is what it is. Alright, we're gonna be playing Draven Lux into Varus Zerath. Gonna be running the cleanse again since this time we're facing the Zerath E, the level 6 Varus ult, and the Ari Charm, and even the Viego W. There's a lot of CC on the enemy comp that we want to deal with. This is, by the way, now day two of me recording this video. So on, on day one, uh, it went something like this. I played one game, then next game Draven was banned. I had to dodge. Okay, cool. Six minute dodge timer. We deal with those. Uh, then I played another Draven game. Cool. Next game, German band again. Okay. Okay. Bit unlucky, but 30 minute dodge timer, we deal with that. Then we played one more game. That was the game three that you just saw. And then, uh... Mountain motherfucking support banned Draven. In the next lobby, I was hovering Draven, my support still banned it. So we dodge. 12 hour dodge timer. Guess I'm done for the day. You were wondering why I didn't post yesterday? That's why. I attempted making a video was ruined. <laughs> but hopefully we can finish it today. Anyway, I did miss like XP for one minion, I would say, but... Or, uh, I think I missed one XP for one minion, but I'll say that's worth it for basing for the coal. Ah, damn it. And we're going for the Bloodthirster setup again, because I tried it last game. Yesterday. Felt pretty good. Let's rush up to the Xerath, try and punish this. Perfect. We'll go on Varus now. Okay, I wasn't sure if they had heal or not since he never healed the Xerath. Good thing I didn't try and flash on him. Okay, we're gonna level Axis here because I don't have too much mana. Ooh, close one. Alright, basically just denying him farm. Since he refused to step up for them, I merely wanted to poke him, but this is also pretty good. At the moment, he's not quite diveable. Alright, he won't be diveable at all. Let's try and get this plating before we base. We might have to just go for the turn now as well since she used the on the wave. I probably should have actually just not even bother bothered with the plating because it would have been... more likely that Lux would not touch the wave if I did. Still, we're Draven. We got plenty of early damage onto the wave. I wouldn't really call it wave clear. But uh, you can clear waves relatively fast. Still would have been better to just leave the wave, but it's not too bad. Actually, I think this could be better. I generally prioritize long swords over Sheen. Like I would prioritize double long swords over Sheen. But I guess if I'm gonna buy double long swords, long swords and then have 300 gold left over. I might as well just get Sheen and Longsword. I didn't have no gold left over. Wait, I forgot I'm doing Bloodthister. Crap. Okay, we're going for Essence River then. <laughs> Too late to back out now. Don't be jealous. How about... Right, we should look to play some vision soon. Lux is a pink ward. Would be good to place it because we can defend it from here. So I want to get ganked and lose all my stacks before I've got a kill. We see Viego currently on blue buff. Let's make it to refreeze a little bit too. And I want to ward here. Nice. Perfection. I got that. An enemy has been slain. Doesn't get better than this. <laughs> 
Probably can't really keep on tanking here. I don't have life still. Okay, nice one. I guess they killed Viego. I wasn't paying attention, but I saw that was their goal. Pressing W there to get the attack speed boost, make sure I actually get that minion. <laughs> that time I was using it for a Sheen proc. Ooh. Oh, I thought it'd be using either. Ah, oh, drop the next, my bad. Whoa, where did my ult go? What? I'm sure that's not where I aimed it. Fuck. I need to drop that axe. Oh god, that's an Ari. I really don't want to drop these axes, that's why I'm playing this so carefully. No, sorry, not these axes, these passive stacks. I've only had to kill level 1, so I'm sitting on a lot of stacks right now. We'll do the vamps at the rush since we're losing some HP. Let's admire me for a bit. Oh yeah, I should have replayed to see if I actually aimed my ultimate that badly. Too late now. It's possible that maybe I just clicked R while I was trying to move down to catch an X and fucked it up. There we go. We don't even care about this earth poke anymore now. So we don't have any more trinkets until 20 seconds from mine. There we go. Perfect. Nice one. We managed to catch pretty much every axe but one there, I think. So we need to we basically like every time Lux gets cut out like that, we just need to cover her by going on the Varus immediately, since he's their biggest source of DPS. If they try to finish off Lux, then I'm just gonna kill the Varus, and then once I've killed the Varus, they have no DPS to kill me either. How the hell? Alright, I don't care too much if I die to... Diego now, since I already cashed my passive out. So I can afford to try and shove this out. Hmm. We'll go for Essence River. Again, some game we can also try Lethality Build. Lethality Builds, I think, are still decent on Draven. We can also go in and out of popularity for him. The logic to lethality builds on Draven is that his axes don't actually crit. It's only the auto attack that procs the axes that crit. So uh, lethality actually benefits the axes themselves more than crit does.
Why does she just heal? Damn it, missed the cannon for that. Hopefully the poke on the Xerath comes worth it in the long run. There's like lag in your racks whenever you get one cancelled by a minion dying. Got him. Holy crap, that was clean. Pushed him right into that ultimate. Right, we've around 800 gold from our from our kills, sorry. From a passive. Now we've cashed out the coal. Should be able to get us to it. Just use the axe for, or well, the E for chain proc. And a little bit of wave clear. Ah, there go my casters. Thank you, Lux. Completely unnecessary. I'll just sell the cold to get berserkers. I think that's worth it. The coal sustain anyway is like more relevant than ever, having the bloodthirster now. You can get red buff. I should go bot. Somebody could shove this into the turret really fast. Probably shouldn't have pressed Q. I don't think I reached this wave in time. Yeah, oh well. We could shove another wave too. Checking there's nobody there, because if uh, there isn't, then I can just take this route as a shortcut. Might as well clear these words. But see, now it's going to take them a while if they want to shove that wave under turret, so that gives me a lot of time to rotate mid here and get the start with the team. And even try and get some damage done on the next turret. As long as they keep not pushing there. Okay, he is pushing. They'll probably need to shove one more wave after that though. Which gives us time to get this turret and still have time to rotate. No, oh, Lux. <laughs> oh well. But this is the important of pu importance of pushing. If he had shoved this faster, like if he had gone to this wave faster instead of just taking like a 15 second break before forming the next wave, I would have been forced to rotate sooner away from this turret and not having taken that turret. Or I just lose a wave under turret for going for that turret. Instead, I get the turret and I also get this wave because he's pushed it slower than he needed to. Oh, okay, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Draven to Diamond. This game we're going to be playing Draven Brand into Misfortune Lux. Going to be running cleanse yet again, given the enemy comp. I actually, I thought that was actually going to be very spot, but either way, uh, cleanse should be good for the Lux Q and lane. It's not too important for the lane really though, it's more important if the enemy ADC also has something that uh, is a really good follow up to the Lux Q, which until level 6 they won't have. Uh, but... I've talked about many times that Cleanse is pretty much indispensable against Fiddlesticks, who they have this game, so we're going to be happy about the Cleanse taking either way.
She does not want to trade against me there. She should also not... Whoa. She should not try and ignore me to try and lost at CS because she's going to take so much damage from me. If I, if I poke her, I should be having to overextend for it where I take more minion aggro. In the meantime, she has to play safe. Okay, nice. We managed to catch the Axiom while rooted. Wait, did we? Oh, maybe not. We could shoot a recall now. Yeah, fuck it. I'll recall. Let's get a potion, I guess. Because I, uh, I would love to get the coal, but I guess I missed too much farm. Don't think you either wave. I think both jungles are pathing towards top side anyway, but I think Cheater Recalling is especially good if, uh... <laughs> oh yeah, can I unmute myself? No, not yet. It's especially good if you're playing weak side. Because the enemy jungler will want to gank you about the same time as you just recall, which kind of fucks over their plans. We got Misfortune here. Got her. She did have heal, didn't she? Why didn't she use that? Ooh. There we go. Perfect. Nice one, Brand. We were not going to cleanse that unless he actually managed to land enough damage to make my Q able to color. Okay, we won't really have time to crash this. I'm just going to try and slow push it instead. Or at least it wouldn't be the cleanest crash. Dude, what was that? Oh, he just cost me the cannon and like two more minions in the process. Jesus. I also crashed the faster than I wanted to, because this crashes at around the same time as the enemy wave pops up, which will kill some of the next wave. So if I want to get all of the farm possible, I want to shove this wave as well. Which I would have preferred not to do under turret. Because now I'm really overextended while I shove this wave. Oh. And this is the sort of thing that can happen. Especially if my support recalls. So, great lesson in wave management there by Brand. Thank you for teaching my viewers a lesson. Yeah, on top of uh, being overextended, if you want to try and shove a wave while it's already under turret. Uh, it also means that some of your minions are already starting to die to the turret, which means if they're dead, they're obviously not helping you push the waves. So the push is also slower than it should be. <laughs> you have to wait zero seconds. Okay, nice. <laughs> So yeah, I just want to slow push here. I wish Brand wouldn't take it into his own hands to wave, uh, control the wave however he sees fit. He can clearly see I'm not trying to push. She compensated for the super late heal earlier by doing a super early heal when she did not need to use heal. Ooh, damn. Close one. This photo sticks is only level 4, so... Drop the next there. We can definitely look for a dive here, especially now that Lux missed that. 
Ah, uh, I cancelled an auto. Didn't cancel it, rather I autoed the turbo accident. Okay, that's one kill. Oh, can we get both? That's so worth it. Oh, okay, he missed. Oh, but he doesn't have the mana to crash this man. It's so tilting. It is what it is. So a lot of you ask me, uh, in the comments, Vapor, what do you do when your support just, like, screws over your wave state and just doesn't listen to your pings? This is what I do. I suffer. You don't fa- there's no solution. You just suffer. It is what it is. You just try and win despite the unideal circumstances that you're playing with. We're doing just fine despite it, obviously. We could be doing better, for sure. It's always annoying. But, uh, no, there's no solution. You just deal with it. It is what it is. Doesn't get better than this. No following these footsteps. Just gonna freeze for now. Can do with thinning it out a little bit though, especially the melee. The melee is going to go under threat at some point. We would rather freeze with entirely costers because it's easier to get them to go where you want them to go. Melees will just randomly walk under threat for no reason. <clears throat> Which can change the uh, position of the entire wave if, if done at a bad time. It's fine. She did not need to flash there. Shut down. He's just hitting away for no reason. I think he wasn't even intentionally doing that. I think he just had auto attack enabled and he was just standing still. <coughs> Damn, I can't reach her. My wave! What the fuck did you do to my wave? I think I missed the cannon for that, but that might not have been Bran's fault. Yep. So we got her. What are you doing, Bran? Damn it. Alright, we should shove this wave now. This is just the brutality of Javen, just completely zoning them from the wave entirely, and then we just run at them and kill them. Even while they're not farming. Can use my W here to try and run at there. There we go. There we go. It makes it easier to catch up to her since she's temporarily CC'd and then also slowed afterwards. You can use use E on them before you can actually throw an axe at them, so it's just really good for chasing. Don't be nice, give him a Dark Harvest proc. We can stick around for just this one wave and then leave. Okay, that's the actual fiddlesticks. Ooh, he's going in. Okay. Guess I'll stick around for another wave. Even if it's a kind of wave, I don't care too much. It shouldn't take long at all to shove it. Alright, we're base. Currently earned 862 gold from our passive. 
Then we're super close to Infinity Edge, but not quite there. So we'll just grab Berserkers and the components instead. Actually, might be able to kill Lux here. We want to move down now. There we go. Should be an easy kill on Misfortune now too, since I'm super tanky. Okay, nice. I was I was always only oh, I was always only going to hit her with those three autos and then back out of turret range to reset the aggro. So it's just kind of lucky that Brand actually damaged her, so she died to my third axe. Because that way it saves me having to dive in a second time. Or I'll take more damage. I should live, but uh, she'll live longer, get more farm, and I'll take more turret damage. Okay, Pedal Sticks are the Drake. We know his bot side, but we're also just entirely unafraid of him right now. Let's see if he's around, though. He's currently mid. Maybe we can just gank mid here. I won't bother resetting the axes. Uh. Hmm. It looks like there's nothing to gank here. Fiona's gonna stay, I'm just gonna base. I've already got my infinity edge anyway. I wanna spend that gold. There's a few people who can defend mid anyway, so there's not necessarily a free turret here if I stay. There we go, bot. Shove that out so we can pressure mid more easily as we did in the previous game. Okay, we'll start off not only crashing in this wave, but also wanting to crash the next wave after that to give, give us even more time. So it's not need to crash this one hard or push this wave hard. Because the faster we push it, the more extended we will be trying to shove in the next wave. So we can just push it slowly, and, you know, we're still past the midway point when we shove in this wave, but still not too overextended, you know? Just checking. Would've been nice to get red. Can even try and take the Raptors here. I'll just settle for the big one, I think. Don't want to go too hard on the Cassiopeia. Because I don't want to get ulted by her. It's hmm. <laughs> doing a lot of damage to them. Ah, damn it. Okay, nice one. Still don't have to rotate because Misfortune didn't finish something out that wave. I'm assuming she started. But it's not finished. Yeah, there I wanted to auto R her, but I got a ulted mid R, I guess. She reacted very fast. Still dies, and but uh, forces the cleanse, but at least no doubt for me. <coughs> Just my cleanse going on cooldown, which is a bit annoying, because... Uh, you never know when that might happen, but I didn't get feared at least. Oh. Fucking hell. Yeah, let's play safe. Can stick around though. Because my healing is obscene. Oh. This is a Drani. Well, I definitely can't fight Cassiopeia on this HP, so. Um. 
I'll just base directly. I don't need any more gold for this fire cannon. And yes, we will go for a fire cannon. It will be pretty nice against Cassiopeia, being able to outrange our QE. Or at the very least, uh, maybe we can't outrange our Q, but at the very least we won't have to get so close to her. Poker. So even if she manages to land the Q, she'd have to chase us down really hard to land the E. Will also be really good for pressuring Misfortune on Varus from outside of their range. That's an AP Varus, by the way. Yeah, actually, you can CC something, or you can cleanse something from every one of their champs except Misfortune, now that I think about it. There's also the Cassiopeia ult. Varus ult, Fiddle, Gears, Lux Q. Could be good. Should be good. Please, before my axes run out. Ah, should have just hit the blast gun. Got him. Good shit. It's a free red buff for me. Alright, this Drake is about to spawn. Hopefully, I didn't do this axe really. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, goddammit, now I can't reset my axes because she flashed away. Could have just hit the Drake. <laughs> Oh, can I see where that axe was going? My bad. Whoa, why does she ult the Drake? Weird game. Damn it. Hmm, okay, this game, what do I want? Guild Force or Shield Bow? I'd actually lean towards uh, Guild Force to get out of the Fiddlesticks ult, but I'm also worried about the Cassiopeia Poison, which in some situations will like force me to have the stat tracker instead of being able to dash out. Because of her, poison be her uh, W being a grounding effect wouldn't allow me to Guild Force out, so against in that particular scenario, Shield Bow would be a lot more effective. Boom, there's the pack on him, baby. Boom. Oh, goodbye, Brand. Wait, is he live? Wow, he lives. I don't think she had Ludens. That's very lucky. Oh my god. No! <laughs> my bad, I was too aggressive there. <laughs> Damn. Thought I was fine once I dodged the Cassiopeia ult, though. Just got hit by a bunch of different stuff. Cassiopeia did a little damage. Lux did a little bit of damage. Turret did a little bit of damage. And then Fiddlesticks finished me off with a little bit of damage. <laughs> but the cleanse the lifesteal, but no such luck. One auto worth of lifesteal was not enough to save me. Um... Yeah, I think we'll go for the shield bow. They're not on Baron, are they? No. Nice one. Definitely don't want to be pressuring mid by myself right now. But we can collapse on Varus here though. It's way overextended. Yeah, we're not even really needed. Just had to be sure. Shame about the brand dying. 
Should have really been just a completely free fight, I think. Okay, the enemies are currently trying, currently trying to punish my team on bot, so we're gonna want to tramp or this turret. Fortunately, Lux has some wave clear. This could be bad, I need to get out of here. Hello, what the fuck? Hmm, I'm not too confident about my chances of beating them in a fight without the cleanse. Yeah, that enriches me pretty hard. <coughs> like, if I know that I can get stunned by Cassiopeia ult and then just cleanse it, then I'm good to take that fight, I think, but... She's also pretty ahead herself. And there's also the chance that I just get stunned. Like, I can't risk trying to outplay the stun and then just dying for free if I do get stunned. And d potentially still dying even if I do dodge the stun. Holy fuck, this burst. I think flash- Oh god, that mini nearly blocked me into that. I think flashing that was necessary. If I just keep running away, I should be fine here. Sheesh. God damn it. Ugh, I wanted to poke her through the wall, but the ward interrupted me. Okay, we can just already base for Shilbo anyway. Drake is up, though. Hmm. I think I'm doing the right thing by recalling. I actually probably should have done Vamp Scepter as my component instead of Nuke River, by the way, actually. Should probably be better. I don't need to attack speed too much. Since I'm getting by how many axes I have anyway. I got them all. <laughs> Gonna go for the Raptors. No, Timo, you should go top. Ooh, we can also go top and just gank this Varus, I guess. Ooh, damn. Okay, well, at least now we know Varus doesn't have ult. He's very good at trading one for one. God damn it, this block. Alright, it's all good. Really? There we go. Okay, I think the next item is definitely going to be QSS. That's going to help a lot against their comp. It's not just because of the cleanse, but also because they have so much magic damage as well. The MR will be really nice. It won't make me so dependent on my summoner cleanse. also just so much stuff that I could actually cleanse in a team fight that there's a realistic chance that I could actually want to cleanse more than one thing in a team fight. So having cleanse up and QSS up at the same time will be really good. Let's get this red buff. Uh oh. Come on. Oh, he's ghosting. I'm never gonna catch him then. Oop, friend might though. Nice one. He's got a weird build. He's got more mana, but an AP build. Feels like it should be alright though. He actually gets some poke with that, whereas AP Virus doesn't usually get much poke. 
Unless you can't all take people and one shot on them as poke. Just very very strong poke. Just hoping to get Farkin in there. Oh god. Fucking hell, man. My bad, my bad. I did not see that coming. I should have QSS rather than cleansed as well, but I was in full panic mode there. I hate Fiddlesticks, man. Literal anti-ADHD champion. You just forget about him and he one-shots you. No forgiveness. No mercy. <laughs> My bad. Just forgot about him. Like, it, it was... Like, it's obviously bold to, like, try and go for a trade 1v3 there as I was, but I was relatively confident that there was no way they could punish that with the members that I saw present. If Cassio pilted me, I could just cleanse that. Everybody else is too far away to actually stop me from going on Cassiopeia. Literally, the Fiddlesticks' appearance was the only thing that could screw me over there. Not the right for him. Yeah, I can base and just get Mercurial Scimitar. Alright, the Shilbo is making us really tanky now. Two hundred and eighty extra HP, five hundred damage shield. Got a pretty big shield on Bloodthirster too. Farkhanen is down. I do not dare try and poke her again anyway. She might just be baiting me for fiddlesticks. Oh, hello. God damn it, I don't have vision. Oh my god. <laughs> Took forever to kill him. How did Cassiopeia and Misfortune get here so fast? They must have flanked. My bad. Also, wait, I don't know why two of our teammates were top now that I think about it. I haven't noticed that. Drake was about to spawn. Aren't we pretty close to Soul? Yeah. Well, it would have been Soul Point. Still, obviously, we want to go for Drakes regardless of whether, like, which Drakes they are. Yeah, they flanked. <laughs> At least we managed to get the Fiddlesticks, so we traded one for one. There was no reason why that fight should have gone so bad, even with it not going according to plan for me, except our teammates. Like, especially our jungler as well. Our jungler wasn't at Drake, man. What the hell? Like, my bad for not realizing it as well, but... You don't even have to check for that stuff in Ailo. <laughs> Never assume your jungler is not going to be on Drake. Oh, boy. I think Sidrani kills her here, though. Just need W. Perfect. Should be a good fight. Oh, fuck me. Damn it. Okay, at least we killed the Lux. Damn, I tried to Mercurial Scimitar first and it didn't go off, so then I had to cleanse. But it was such a delayed reaction because I was like to wait and see that my Mercurial Scimitar wasn't casting. I didn't know that it wasn't up. But I checked immediately after I died and it was up, so it must have just barely not been up in time. Let me see that. Ah, yeah, it was like... When I got uh, rooted by that, which was also very close to being a dodge, I had four seconds left on my Scimitar. Damn. Okay, at least we got the Lux. If I just reacted sooner, though, I would have been able to fight back sooner and maybe called Varus in the process. I don't know, though, because he's got a very bursty build. Does pretty much one shot with that. Or close to. Doesn't have Rabadons yet, though. In fact, I don't think he's even going for it. What is this thing building into? I'll get another elixir. Okay, 
Okay, this shouldn't be on Baron if Cassiopeia is mid. She's the fastest Baron taker. Oh, there's a fight though. I guess Philistix just ulted in. Maybe not. I do have Kiss S this time. Oh no. Don't have a force, Johnny. Should have cancelled that, my bad. Okay, I did a lot of damage. God, it's hard to play these fights, man. Maybe I should have gone for Fiddlesticks first instead of Misfortune, actually. Hmm. Nah, she does more immediate DPS, and I'm, have, I'm having to kite towards her anyway, so I can actually kill her after killing Fiddlesticks. I suppose I made the right call, it's just a bit unlucky that Varus appeared off there as well. Still have a pretty positive impact over the fight, though, but... Damn. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough game. We need to play a team fight perfectly so we can actually ace. Since our team is really behind. Um I might also at some point swap out my mythic for shield bow or my mythic for uh Guild Force so we can get more movement speed. So we can sell boots. But we'll need a lot of gold for that. Might not get the chance. Okay, hopefully we have the whole team around for Drake this time. They might have vision here. Yeah, they do. Don't actually want to shove this fast. I prefer to slow push it, but uh, they're kind of zoning me from the wave now. They're actually prioritizing mid prowl. I need to get away from the Versault. Fuck. Bro, what? Oh, Fiddlesticks, what? He was in the brush, I couldn't see him. Oh my god. Alright, into the team mushrooms, Cassiopeia. Fuck, that was in the next. What? Fuck Max for now, or I dropped that, I don't know. Okay, we got that. She should be dead now too. Perfect, holy crap. Let's get the streak. And we should hopefully get Baron too. I can't ping the Baron while I'm doing the streak though, because I gotta catch my fucking axes. <laughs> okay, let's go do it. Come with me, Yone, we can do it. Ignore this wave. We just melt this really fast, both of us do a ton of DPS. If Bar if Bran gets here in time, he also bursts the Baron really hard too with his abilities, since they do damage based on max HP, which Bran is a lot of. We can do triple axes here actually, no, mind, I already dropped one. There we go, yeah, don't even need Brand. Huge. Okay, let's see now. I can swap this for Gold Force. Can I get something instead of boots now? I can get Edge of Night. I'd rather get Yomus. How much movement speed do I have? I can't tell. This is the annoying thing about home guards, is it doesn't let you see how much fucking movement speed you have without the home guards. Alright, hopefully this is better than having an elixir. <laughs> 
I'm gonna have less healing now too, but we've got the goal for us to get out of this exalt and stuff. God, this is a lot of item actives though. Thankfully the Yomus doesn't matter too much in fights. But I still have if we even if we ignore Yomus, I still have one more than in previous fights. Uh I should get the red, but honestly, like I think it's not too important here compared to pushing with the Baron. We don't want to waste the Baron duration, don't want to risk my team getting caught either. Nice one. Fucking- ah, oh, dude. I cannot keep track of how many fucking items I've got. God damn it, my bad. Ah, oh, we weren't grouped properly either. Flash them to me. Hmm, where does Sidrani go? She was part of this, but then... Oh, she jumped on Cassiopeia. <laughs> and then Cassiopeia just walked past her, what the fuck? Oh, that was like she wasn't even in the fight, the, the Sidrani. Ah, the, yeah, that sucks, that's a huge waste of Baron. Oh no. Oh boy. Come on, bro. Okay, I get the Varus, but dude, this Lux HP, man. <gasps> oh my god. It's so hard to do anything better than trade one for one against this comp. The thing is, there's no frontline for me to hit. This is a backliner, this is a backliner, this is a backliner, this is a back... No, this is a diver, sorry. And this is a backliner. Well, this is a, like, diver slash assassin. If he gets on me, there's a decent chance I die. Is the issue. So basically, if the problem with the entire team being backliners is if I'm in range to hit one of them, I'm in range to get hit by all of them. That's why this game is so hard to do anything in. It should. It basically requires a lot of coordination with my team and not just fucking me 1v1ing or 1v3ing people all the time. We need more than just me uh, diving on people. And if I don't go aggressive, then I don't do damage, because there's nobody who's just gonna walk up to me. Collector on the Varus, interesting. Alright, this is plenty of income by move speed, by the way. 386. Let's run, get the, the streak. We got mountain, that would be really helpful. Oh, hello. She does not do too much damage. Yes, guys, come on, let's go, let's do it. No way. Dude, just get me out, get me out. Is there anything I can left off of? I'll go for this. Oh, come on, they got the Drake even though we killed their jungler, goddammit. The Varus flush on me there. Alright, we're joining the fight now if possible. Did we pretty much chase them? Close to. Uh, okay, we'll just keep pushing bot for now. Do I have cleanse up? Nah. I don't know if Cassiope has flash or not. Sorry, not flash ult. I'm gonna assume she doesn't though. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, good thing I didn't just run into her then. Funniest part is, if she hadn't slowed me with a realize, I would have. It was the slow that made me decide, nah, not worth it.
I think I have a turret here. Yeah, perfect. Jesus, okay. Got him. Go QSS now if I need it. There's a big risk, but let's keep going here. Okay, I got it. Might be able to get misfortune now too. Where is she? Hello. Holy crap, she's strong now. Holy shit. Oh, god damn it. I just have to leave. Nice one, Brand. Yeah, so the problem with Fiddlesticks is that although he's like sort of a frontliner, it's also kind of hard to hit him. Ooh. Nice one. Oh god, I'm stuck here! Even though he's a frontliner, I spend a lot of the time that he's uh, actually frontlining either feared or getting one shot and having to run from him. There's not much room to auto attack him. So it's a similar dilemma to the rest of them. Like if I'm in range to auto attack them, I'm in trouble. Pretty much. Same for fiddlesticks. If I'm if I'm in range to hit him, like technically, like technically, you know, I can't get in range, but I'm usually in trouble if I am. And the time that I'm not spending fear to getting one shot, half the time he's just in zonies anyway, so I can't even hit him. It's just really hard to find good opportunities to deal damage this game, and that's why I keep trading one for one or one for two or one for three or whatever it is, just constantly, because it is impossible not to constantly take damage. Against a comp like this. I think actually I should sell out. No, I can't sell Fire Cannon. I need it for move speed. Uh, There's not much more I can do with my build, sadly. Yeah, at least we got two inhibs now, though. Did God God's work with that split push? We really need the strike. I'll be really sad if they get soul. Could do with the team mushroom in that brush. Don't fight him. I want to slow push this. I want to be here to like zone their team from trying to push these super minions. But also don't want to shove these super minions into the base super early because it gives them more time to clear them before Drake. Unfortunately, there's only so much like so slowly you can push the wave when you have a super minion wave against a non-super minion wave. Okay, this time I'm, this one I'm gonna rush it though. If they want to contest the strike, they're going to have to leave this wave. God, this is so risky. I bet you Fiddlesticks will steal it. Ooh. They didn't have vision, I guess. Damn it, dude. He just spent the entire time in Zonias and then steals it. Like, come on, man. It's so tilting. Like, that's the one frontliner on their team. He was in Zanya's the entire time and steals Drake. Nothing I can do. That was funny. Just ran faster at the start. There we go. Okay, maybe we just end here, though.
There we go. Even if she had ult, I still had QSS. I had cleanse. We just end here. Thank God. <laughs> what a stressful game. 47 minutes. <laughs> Holy crap. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Draven the Diamond. My entire team getting poked down by Ezreal Qs here. We should try and turn here. How did that hit me? Excuse me? I was nowhere near that. What? Pop a potion and just go aggressive, I guess. Got the Blacks now. Did you? Oh, okay. Master, you did finish his blue. Hmm, I missed XP here, sadly. I think Azrael did as well, though, so not bad. It's a pretty good strat, that, though, on Ezreal Karma, since you can do so much damage without committing. The only mistake they made was just getting too close to me and letting me actually hit them back. The whole point is they're ranged. They shouldn't be letting me hit them back. Was that a level 1 jungler who can't really engage? Might be a little bit riskier into something like Lee Sin. Oh, damn it. Want to keep going aggressive here. We regret to trade one for one with Ezreal here, but I think it's too risky at this stage. Mm. Nice one. Heal me, heal me. Ah, oh, damn it. I guess there's some cooldown. Okay, their Udyr should probably be pothing bot, actually. We might actually... Just want to recall here, even. I'd love to keep playing aggressively, but we know our U is pothing top, and they clearly didn't have to leash, so... Udyr probably started blue and is pothing bot. They probably won't think to just crash this wave, because they wouldn't expect me to base here, but it's just a smart base, I think, so long as they don't crash this in time. Ooh, actually, Ezreal already based. That's perfect, even. This means that this is now pushing towards me, and he's gonna miss a lot more farm from this recall than I did. I need Soraka to stop hitting the wave, though, because it, like, maximizes my CS loss. She keeps setting minions when they're nowhere near to dying, which just speeds up the process of which the wave dies and costs me more farm in the long run. Even if in the short term, like, I wouldn't have got that melee anyway, right? But if it dies faster, then the next minion after that dies faster as well, leading to a chain where I just end up missing CS. And I was right about Udyr, by the way. Maybe if Soraka had recalled with me, instead of pinging me to stay and taking my wave, then we would all uh, have survived here. Ah, oh, damn it. Healing up on potions here. Oh, my bad. I got her though, but I die now. Fuck, that sucks. My bad. Did I misclick an X on her? Ah, I missed out on so much farm for that. That's sad. Can't do double long sword here since I want to go Bloodthirster. Oh no, it's the E that I missed. I don't know if that would have killed her anyway though. Probably not. Probably just miscalculated my damage there. <coughs> I think the shield misled me as to how low her HP actually was. When I ran out, she actually was healthier than I expected. So, at least I managed to cash on my passive before I died there. That was really important. I got more gold than Ezreal did from that kill. I just missed out on a lot of farm in the process, which makes it not worth. But overall, I should still be ahead. Because I, even though I had a shitty... 
like forced base there through death. I had a much better recall than him before, so I'm actually still ahead in farm. Nice one. We're running cleanse again, by the way, just for the... It, I mean, it's good in, in general on Draven because of exhaust. You never know when they're gonna run it or not, so you don't necessarily want to run it every game. And this could be a kill. At the very least, we get one free axe there without taking turret aggro. And this should be a kill. Yep, no, it's a rock. <laughs> oh, well. Still, this is super worth it. He misses out on so much farm with the turret here. Where's that axe dropping? I couldn't see. I think I caught it anyway, though. It was right under the turret. Oh, that's unlucky war timings. Not that. This. I'm tempted to just go Vamp Scepter and Crick Cloak, though. Probably shouldn't, but... The sustain would just be really nice in lane. Even with Soraka, I could do with some sustain because of their poke. But I guess I can wait. Oh, dude, I thought this was <laughs> my support killing my wave. Never mind. That Lady Cannon will die here. We'll shove this real quick and then want to contest the Drake. Ooh. He's dead. Got her. Well, the Drake lives, and Dari should be able to kill Ezreal. We'll just keep farming. Awesome. That turned out pretty well. And yeah, the buffs are purchased over the vamp scepter purchase. Definitely paid off hard here. We had a lot more damage with that. Damn it. Should be able to kill him pretty easily here. Yep. That was way too aggressive from him. Let's back off here now. And I can actually get the blood thruster already. Huge. Actually, gonna cut some of my base, I think. No, I get away with it. That's why we don't even bother canceling the base. Just in case. If she'd blindly thrown a Q, which is what she should have done, she would have canceled, but she failed to do so. Don't touch the wave. So we basically have a free double kill from our passive right now, as well as almost a kill from our treasure hunter. Just ridiculous how hard you can snowball on Draven. Why is she trying to crash this? She should have not been touching it either. Oh, it's really stopped. Never mind. Doesn't really matter then. <laughs> Damn, he's kind of snowballing his top laner though. I don't think it's worth cleansing here. Decent chance that I don't kill her anyway.
I like how our top lane is complaining that we didn't call SS on Ezreal. As if we- as if he would have played defensively if he said, Ezreal, the Rady C is currently not bot lane. I'm sure that really would have helped. <laughs> oh my god, this block. Careful Soraka. Oof, two throw shots. That's really not good. At least if I'd been the one to tank this, I would have just left it back up. She's just in trouble now. She may as well recall. She's not going to be useful until she gets HP back. She can't even heal without HP. Oh, he's back. Did I drop an axe? Yeah, I did. Just zoning them from their wave. A little bit risky if I get ganked by Udyr, but I mean, Udyr's dead at the moment, so... We can afford to do this. We won't be too right now. Wait, how does Rocket... She died to an Ezreal ult, I guess, right? Must have been... Something global. Alright, nice. We denied him a lot of farm with this. There we go. Whoa. Damn it. I'm not gonna catch him. Go back to the whiff. We can probably shove in one more wave here too. Should hopefully win this. Oh god, he cost me both maxes though. No! No! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> my bad, that shield fucked me. And I also mistimed my, uh... Cleanse on the karma root. Oh well. Fuck, now I miss both axes again. Alright, I'm dead. I'm dead. Ah, that's the awkward thing about CC is that I got just got caught between two axes there and couldn't catch either one of them. Partially why. Also, I guess another reason why Cleanse is so good on Draven is so you can prevent that happening if you have fast enough reactions. Sadly, I already wasted that though. Alright, going for Infinity Edge next. We'll just go towards mid now. I think he is gonna farm this wave, and that's fine. If we go mid, we can probably just get this turret before Vega arrives, unless he has TP. Hopefully he doesn't. Oh, they're going for me. Not bad. Oh, I live. Mm, I shouldn't fight this Vagar. He can potentially have a lot of burst if he's ult up. I didn't think they would just walk into lane and just run me down immediately as a team. So I wasn't paying enough respect there. Uh... Can we cast out the cult? I think their team is... Mm, nah, 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 we'll base, or... No, no, we should do Drake. But we don't want to waste our time mid here. We can't really safely siege against the Vega with this cage.
Damn it. So much damage for Throttles. Okay, let's try this again. Got him. Okay, this time I, caught my, I didn't catch my axes because I'm just bad. But at least we got the job done first. Could already base. I might just end up doing that. Don't want to catch that axe and stand in the cage. Yeah, it's just kind of hard to siege against Vagar. It's never safe. It's very unlikely I die when I've got cleanse up, but also don't want to be wasting my cleanse like that, so we'll just base. Oh, I accidentally just misclicked. I suppose I can go bot. Just avoid sharing farm with this Ari. Careful. Their whole team distract is distracted mid right now, so I might even just be able to push some bot turrets. A bot turret at least. Multiple is probably quite unrealistic. Need to be careful now that they're out of vision. They might be headed towards me. I don't think so, though. Hmm. At this point, they've been gone from the map for so long, I could assume they are, so. <clears throat> Hello. Okay. No, I didn't kill it here. Fuck, I thought I would. Ah, that sucks. I should have eat sooner, and I should have probably flashed away from Moodyr to buy myself some more time to auto attack. Damn, that sucks though. Super close. How many passive stacks did I have? For, oh, okay, only like four, or only, only like fifty, probably. Something like that. <coughs> hmm. They're in trouble. At least we hopefully get a mid turn for this. Uh, maybe not Vegas here again. <laughs> He's still full HP. <laughs> oh, well, at least we know he has no ult. Oh, but Ari doesn't know that, I guess. Ooh, she missed. That could have been a kill. Damn. Ow, I'm very much in trouble here. Yeah, I got the Vega. Thank God. That's worth it. A little bit more gold from my passive there. I can now sell this. Yeah, I definitely should have blue chicken it there. Should have had some warning about karma showing up. Could have mm, probably survived if I flash past the cage, but. I definitely would not have killed Vagar if I did, and I would have probably still died. So I think I just made the right call there and just finishing off Vagar. Yeah, 
Ooh, I can kill him. Let's go for it. No, I can't. That was nowhere near. Run out of access. I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to keep catching axes while you're chasing somebody, unless you want to turn around and catch your axes, but that, at the expense of actually chasing the person you're chasing. I can't really do anything here. It's massively sped up our team. Okay, we got him this time. Could have probably flashed through to kill Karma, but I didn't have vision, so I didn't know exactly where to flash to. And I'd rather not risk wasting my flash. This could be really good, though. Probably should have uh, actually got Karma there. That was doable. Whatever, you got her, though. I attempt to get Karma while I was uh, waiting for Vigar to come out of Tom Kench's stomach. Because she just walked really close for no reason. for some AoE. Oh, and we kill the Udir. Huge. Nice one. Get Ezreal there. Hopefully Vega now too. Uh, Pathing because of the wall. Okay, thank god. Alright, we should be able to end now. Oh, that was quite sudden. This game was nowhere near over. Then it just randomly ended if we end. Oh, wait, I don't actually have a wave. I'll be waiting a while. Here we go. Hmm, we're not ending. Yet. Oh lord. I can kill him if he doesn't flash away. Was that worth it? Probably not, because I probably had a shut down, yeah. Ooh, it went to Karma, though. Not bad. And I think next item we'll actually do Lord Dominix over Mythic. Espe yeah, especially because we can actually just straight up afford the Lord Dominix. That's great. Nice one. But by the way, a pretty random time to point this out, but one thing to note about the runes, always go eyeball collection. The taste of blood is just such a noob trap. You get so much more value out of eyeball collection throughout the entire game, especially on a really high AD racial champion like Draven. But pretty much in any ADC, I'll always just go eyeball collection over taste of blood. This blood helps your laning phase a little bit, but it's not that big a deal. Whereas 18 AD can do a lot for you throughout the game.
Might as well clear this. Give myself that five free gold. Anyway, the game may not be over yet, but it is pretty clearly going to be a win for us. Yeah, look at that damage. Nope. I wanted to reset my axes, man. Oh well. Baiting. We'll just cut the circuit off. There we go. Don't know how I got that, but I'll take it. Let's just close this game out. Did you? Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Draven the Diamond. This time I'm going to be playing Draven Leona. Oh, we don't need to leash. Nice. Into... Okay, I get it. Sheesh, calm down. Into Jinx Lux. Should be an alright matchup. Engage is really good into Jinx. Uh, I've actually, I wanted to actually do lethality, but I guess I won't run it this game because I don't have quite the optimized setup. But I think starting next game, we'll do two games testing lethality. A lethality build, at least. Oh, that was a clutch. Axe catching while also dodging the Luxie. Yeah, we, she actually hit us uh, twice there while we only hit her once, and it was still a good trade. That's just how Draven be. Got her. Oh, Leona gets her. Never mind. At least uh, we don't have too many passive stacks, so we don't care about that too much. If she were to dive here, this would be so worth it. We use target champion Zilla here? Perfect. Yeah, we kind of needed to flash that, I think. I think we should also be good to leave this here. Uh, I think I'll get the cannon, though. Hmm, actually. None of these meals are going into turret. That's surprising. Literally not a single one went under turret. Mm. Okay, we're gonna have to leave it like that though. I'll miss out on that other wave, but it is what it is. I don't think you can afford to stay and shove. Anyway, we denied Jinx a ton of CS there. That was really good. Why did she start dagger actually? What the hell? Um, we're doing the Blood this to rush build, so rushing the vamp scepter. I suppose I'll just wait for boots over getting refillable. can level the E. It's a little bit more damage and also a little bit of CC. Currently, Jinx does not have flash. Oh, wow, I missed that axe instantly. My bad. That's pretty bad. Okay. Probably would have been okay to engage there because I was getting an axe soon, but still, because I didn't have an axe, I don't really mind that it didn't land that engage. Wouldn't have been the best fight we could possibly get. Just 
should definitely look for an engage now. In fact, Lux just used all of her cooldowns oh. on uh, Leona, so. Um, I guess we'll focus Lux. Okay, that's her dead. Oh, if I'd managed to catch my axes. I was a bit, I, I mean, I was rude. It's, I don't know if I could have caught them, but it was a close one. Maybe I should have just cleansed. Oh, well. Yeah, you actually do more DPS, by the way, by just waiting to catch your axe before throwing your auto your next auto attack, as opposed to just auto attacking off cooldown. Because having an auto attack that isn't an axe is like really costly to your DPS, unless you can auto attack really fluidly twice between axes or once between an axe, without costing yourself any axe DPS. All right, we'll leave it like that. I think would have been nice to get the cannon, but. The wave state overall should be really good for us since this turret will make sure it's pushing towards us. I just noticed my gold dust should have actually just stuck around for another wave. Even if it was unideal for the uh, wave state overall. Or like wave management wise it wouldn't have been ideal. But it would have been ideal for my base which I think was more important actually. For now, we'll just get a cloak and a dagger. And hopefully next base gets us the BF sword. So remember, Driven is always at his strongest when he's got two axes. In a lane like this, it doesn't really matter. Because Jinx is really weak in the early game. So we're going to beat her even if you only have one axe. But when you have two axes, it means you don't have to do that small delay while you wait for the axe to land before you auto-attack again. You can just start auto-attacking while you're waiting for the other axe to land. And it'll do full axe DPS still. Doesn't cost you anything. Thereby massively increasing your overall DPS. Ooh, she's flanking. Damn it, I was busy leveling my R, so didn't press W there. Oh, damn it. Should be good. Ooh, she didn't get executed. Ah, damn it. Hmm, shit. We're gonna have to leave. I can auto you through the wall. This should probably be good if he doesn't have flash. Okay, let's go. I might die also here. I failed the uh, axe, my bad. Oh, well, we were going to die there anyway if he flashed on us. Okay, got a 150 gold shutdown on me. That wasn't a huge shutdown. Thankfully, yeah, I must be right about the... Uh, Treasure Hunter and Draven passive not factoring into your shutdowns, or I would have had a much bigger one. That is very good. Shit happens, Annie. Ooh, nice one. I like it. Oh. Well, can't kill her anymore. At least Leona looks like she'll live, which is good. It is going to be coming bot now. Woohoo. Needs to just focus me. Nice one. He just spent far too much time just pathing towards Leona instead of actually attacking me. 
He could, if he timed this key right, he also would have made one of my axes disappear. Why, thank you. By just queuing while I was while the axe was in midair. Oh my god. If that didn't crit, she would have been fine. What's the next? Oh well. Alright, she's definitely missing out on a lot of farm here. Might as well get this wave as well. I don't really care about trading back onto her because I'm not sticking around to kill her anyway. Just want to focus on the wave. Don't want to let ourselves get distracted with mostly relevant damage. I'll just get the BF sword. Feels like a better component than Berserkers anyway. Places to go, me to see. Did I drop an axe? Don't know how I could have if I just pressed W and still had my W active. And she's dead. I'm in the at the very end. So we get the free double ultimate hit. Pushing mid, I need to push this. Okay, you dead. That's really good. Still late to get first turret anyway, so I'm actually in no rush and platings aren't about to fall. I'll let the turret kill some of that farm. Alright, perfect. Ooh, does Lux get a, or Kale get a kill here? I know Kale just got some changes, by the way, but I didn't read what they were. She did, nice. That was a huge range on her ultimate, what the fuck? Alright, we've already got the infinite edge, we are massive. I'm on the way. Damn. Got him. <laughs> One last auto chest him through. Oh lord. Got him. And a couple of taxes. Nice one. I was sure I'd drop one there. I think I'm, I managed to redirect one of the axe drops with, by flashing. Before before the axe actually hit him, I flashed behind here so that my axe actually, instead of like dropping below, like somewhere next to him, it flashed, uh, it came like, basi it ba I basically flashed it over, right? Which enabled me to actually catch it in a safe spot. Ow. All good. <laughs> We'll recover this HP in no time. Got a whip card though. Even if that hit me, I still had cleanse and I wouldn't have died to her anyway. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking Houdini. Making my axes disappear. I'm actually trolling her though. Ah, damn it. 
I just wanted to lifesteal, man. He was zoning me from the way for so long. Oh, well, my bad. Oh my god, that stun. They are fucked. What is this dive? Then I should probably back off, I think. Mm. Ramos can do a lot of work here, though. <laughs> Lux is not attacking him, even though she's not taunted. <laughs> That's funny. Um. Actually, you know what? We can sort of we can just actually just test a lethality bolt now. This actually works as a lethality bolt. Although the one that I wanted to test was Essence Reaver into either Infinity Edge, into Dustblade, or into Dustblade into Infinity Edge. Yeah, it feels like this might actually be better than just going a crit mythic. It should be more damage for sure. The nice thing about pairing it with Essence Reaver as well will be that we don't actually need minions to uh, reset our axes. We'll just be able to press Q right as the axe is, uh, is about to run out and it'll just reset. You'll also be able to stack up two axes without autoing a single minion. Nice one. Just checking. She gets hit, then she shields herself. Makes sense. Oh my god, it's Yi and Yasuo. I was thinking I'd be fine from you. I think I'm so good though. I just ghosted for nothing. Oh. Oh my god, that any damage. Now two shot the Sphinx. Can't see where. Oh, no, okay, I'm maxed and dropped. Nice. <laughs> nice chaos. Uh, and I can take the mid farm. I'll just go for Drake. Oh, nice. I reset the axes. He's letting me have the pink as well. 325 gold. Nice one. I just need a little bit more gold. I'll go bot. We have enough attack speed now that we can just sneak in an auto between every axe. Uh, we should keep on pushing while they're all top. An ally has been slain. Shut down. Too easy. I've got pain to serve. Fuck, you one-shot me, Jesus. Holy crap, I should have eaten instantly, I guess. His items did more damage than anything in this kit, that's crazy, man. Literally just his Bork, right? Yeah. Oh, no, no, Rage Knife as well. Still absurd, though. I think it's the interaction with his Q. His Q felt like it did an absurd amount of damage, let me see. Okay, it said that uh, one of the two people that can actually 1v1 me. Potentially the only one, maybe. Was actually the one that showed up to deal with me. I figured he would be on the Herald. We're gonna go a bot again here, though, just shove it out. Although, just obviously, we won't overextend so hard this time. Unless they just prove to be really distracted top lane again. Alright, how much ability haste do I have? 30. I don't think this is enough to spam my axes without attacking minions. Yeah, not quite. If we had blue buff, maybe. Does still drastically lower the cooldown of your axes, though, so you're less punished for dropping an axe.
Yeah, so for now, we'll just keep on pushing. Damn it. We should be able to get this turret, and then we just need to run, because he will be headed towards bot, and we know he one-shots us. Nice one, Kale. Seems to be scaling nicely. Ooh. Nice one. Alright, Nessus, no flash. Yeah, you can really see this does a lot more damage than the uh, Fire Cannon third. Less attack speed done, less po- or, well, uh, less poking range. I think it's worth it though, just to one shot people. Which you would do. You sit, you do still do like a lot harder than you would with a crit mythic. Now this is move. Maybe I should have cleansed that. It feels like a waste now. Oh, but I really should have though. We can cleanse with the next one. I just dropped all my axes because I literally could not reach them. Nice one. Got him. Look at that damage, bro. And they are fucked to this as well. I'm gonna flash just to finish them off because I feel like it. <laughs> I'm not gonna run all the way to Baron. I'm just gonna push bot. Running all the way to Baron feels like a waste. <clears throat> and they should push mid. Yep. This is really good. No. <laughs> Shut up, Leona. You're not even alive. You're not part of this process. I'm getting her. Fuck, I can't. Oh, okay. Ah, god damn it. If only he just, Like, his damage is absurd, man. That's crazy. I was thinking, like, that because last time he didn't Q until he got a melee range of me, this time he would also do the same, so I should just E him early. But instead, this time he just Q'd early, which accidentally dodged my E. Oh well. Keep mess clicking here. Whoa, what is this Jinx build, bro? Lord Dominic's rush to deal with the Ramus, I guess? That is so not worth it. Just do Kraken Slayer, bro. Okay, I guess we gotta do Lord Dominic's for this Nessus. Lost item, either Farkinen or Collector. We're gonna do Collector for fun. To the Drake, yep. Wait. I should not have brought in an axe until the Drake could knock me away already. Oh well. But yeah, your ultimate also does absurd damage when you build a Cathality on Draven. Does about one, 1,230 damage, no, 60 damage, if you hit one person both ways. Nice one. Oh, hello. Does he get hit by this? Not yet. Okay, he's dead to that, though. Do I two-shot her? Not quite. I didn't crit her, though. Come on, come on. 
One more. There we go, the crit. I literally two-shot her. It just took a while. <laughs> and there's Nasus just extremely dead. It's absurd, actually. Yeah, we need to keep on testing this build. Either with Essence River or with Bloodthirst, or either one. This fucking third item Dustblade is wrecking shit up. So close. Fight Collector should be dead. Nice one. <gasps> Ooh. Those misclicking minions there. Mm. Okay, nice. Figured it probably wasn't smart to stay alone. Alright, I'm gonna base. Um. Got him. <laughs> Ooh, I think I've got enough CDR now that I can just spam my axes. Yep. Pretty sure I do. Good shit. Guess we won't get to test out the collector, oh well. Oh, all right, GG. All right, gamers, we are back for another game of Draven to Diamond. I forgot to switch out my runes, unfortunately, so we'll just test out, I guess, the same build again. Uh, we won't bother with Assassin's River. We'll just do Bloodthirst or into Infinity Edge, into Dustblade, or we, maybe this time actually we can try out the Bloodthirst or into Dustblade directly. See how that feels. Gonna sit in this brush and try and cheese a trade onto Jen or Twitch or whoever gets close to me. There we go. Is Twitch level one ganking somewhere? Might be. Feels like he is. Warwick wanted to level 2 gank, but that is not happening. We just go in here. Okay, cool. No flash on Jen. There's Twitch. Should be fine. Right as I ordered, man. Goddamn. Ah, misclicked. Oh well. Maybe I should have kept going on Twitch, actually. I think I might have been able to kill him. Anyway, all good. Really, really good trade there. I gotta use W just to make sure I get to that X. Gotta focus the cannon there, make sure I don't miss that. <laughs> oh, Twitch is TP. Cool. Let's go place a ward. I don't know where their jungler started. Okay, we should hopefully be able to dive Jin here. I'm going for it. Ooh, they still got heal. Okay, we killed them before the before they killed me, which means ooh, but I get to keep the passive stacks. She needs to run, just run, just run. Run, keep running, keep running. There's an invisible twitch, keep running. Nice one. Okay, that was so worth it. We didn't deny too much from there, I don't think, because the wave that he had was 
uh, already pretty small. No, wait, actually, this is a pretty big wave. Did we dive here or did we dive on the next wave? Oh, no, we dove on the next wave. So we only denied three casters. But because I'm Draven, it's still hella worth it. It was a lot closer than I anticipated. I'm not going to lie because I forgot to account for the heal. I figured they would have already used that considering they burned two flashes. But uh, it still worked out to be a really good trade for us. They only got 300 gold from me. Uh, unless Twitch maybe has Treasure Hunter. All the Twitch supports would probably be using Relentless Hunter. Well, I got 210 from... Well, I got 300 from the kill itself. 210 from my passive. And then, like, another 70 from... My Treasure Hunter. So that was literally, like, a double kill for me. On top of denying some farm. And also in arriving to a much better wave state than Jin. Could be a call. Still go heal if I need it. Figured I wouldn't need it. Nice one. So with that E, we try and knock him particularly to the side that will knock him furthest away from the turret. You gotta be conscientious about that. Don't just throw it at any random direction. You wanna you wanna focus on where you actually want to knock them back to, or which direction to knock them to the side to. Gonna take a while to get this into a baseable wave state, but that's fine. We got Vamp Scepter to heal up, slowly but surely. Ideally, I'd rather not even base until the F sword anyway, honestly. I got heal and they don't have Ignite, so. Oh, dude, I didn't heal, though. My bad. Fuck, that should have been a kill. Yeah, yeah someone needs to run. Did I get fourth shot by Jen? I must have. My bad. Actually. Ooh, you know what? I'll just do this. This is actually pretty decent as well. Actually, this is a huge advantage of going, uh... If I go Dustblade second, which I'm not committed to, is that it allows me to build Serrated Dirk if I can't afford the F-Sword. I'll just do Serrated Dark into BF Sword. Nice one. This is actually going to give me more kill potential than the BF Sword itself would. The only downside is going to be slightly less lifesteal, because it gives 10 less AD. So, well, I mean, lifesteal on minions, right? On champions, it should be more, I guess. And uh, a delayed, potentially delayed Bloodthirst. I mean, there's always the chance we had, we just end up getting Bloodthirst on our next base anyway. But usually you would expect it to be delayed. Oops. Don't want to commit too hard onto this gen. At least not until Sona's here. Nope. Should have been able to reach him. Ah, oh, I missed the cannon for that. Hopefully the damage was worth it. Should we go you bot side? What is he doing here? Let's do it again. Ooh, didn't quite play that right, my bad. Should still eventually be able to get him though. Oh. Okay. And he's dead now. He shouldn't have gotten in range for that. Damn it. I'll need to run. I'm gonna flush out. Hopefully this keeps me alive. Wow, he just reached me really fast. So much for that then. Oh, I almost had him as well. Fuck. Okay, at least I've got enough for BF Sword. Hmm. I'm sure I messed up there. I think maybe I was misclicking minions because I think I should have been able to kill you there. Let me see. 
Hit one X on him there. Hit another on him there. Hit a minion there. If I'd hit that one X on him instead of the minion, he would have been low enough that I could just fight. Maybe I could fight anyway. Did I just panic there? Honestly, I probably did. The only awkward thing about this situation is that the lack of vision. I think, yeah, that's... Maybe I did make the right call in running then, because this lack, lack of vision was super awkward. I could, I can't Kai Yi, because I need to stay in that brush to have vision of him. So that's the main reason why I just decided to keep running. Still, I'm not sure. I, obviously, I just ended up dying anyway, so arguably it was the wrong call, but I'm not sure if just standing in melee range of Yi would have gone any better. Anyway, can we stop facing Yi players, by the way? So annoying. Brainless champion. This is where Where's this Twitch, I wonder? Damn, it's level 6 and we're already one-shotting casters, actually. That's crazy. It's because of this rated Dirk. Flung it the wrong way, but it's all good. He still dies. Knocked him the wrong direction with my E. But it's fine. I can just redirect the ultimate to whichever direction I want, so... We just adjust. Okay, Twitch is dead. We'll shove another wave here and then base. I might actually go Tobby's this game, by the way. Oh yeah, looking at their comp, Tobby's just makes far too much sense. We're not going to go Berserkers. I'd say Draven is one of the ADCs that... ...is probably one of the least punished by not going Berserkers. As, at least as far as the ADCs that actually rely on attack speed. Which Draven is one of them. He's like one of the ones... L Least punished for not building that attack speed from Berserkers. <clears throat> this should help a lot, considering so much of Yi's damage isn't true damage. Especially last game where fucking all of it was just fucking items that'll get prevented by Tabi's, I think. I'm assuming Tabi's prevents on hit, physical on hit. Both from Bork and Ginsu's, both of which you should probably build. Between Tobbies and Bloodthester will be very hard to take down. Don't want to go aggressive until I have Sona here. I'm assuming Twitch is around. Got him. I dropped both axes because the Twitch W. Slow was so strong. Ah, I tried to block that for her. Oh well. I life still have everything anyway, so I don't really care about getting hit by Jinult. As long as I'm not gonna immediately die to it. Oh, he's dead now. Ah, you're kidding me. Okay, I got him. I'm very much in trouble now though. Unless... Ooh, she wasted that ult. Oh, I dropped an axe, my bad. Hmm. We may actually live here. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, we would have preferred for her to use ult on Yi. When he was actually, like, killable. Because I'm not in range to auto-attack him, so the stun is wasted in terms of trying to turn on him. And I think we probably shouldn't have expected to be able to run away there, but it worked out.
That should hopefully be a dead twitch. Ooh, nice one. Run dungeon again. What the hell? What was that about? Nice one. Yeah, whenever we're chasing somebody, we always reserve our E for the very end of the chase when you when you actually run out of uh, range for auto attacks. Which is gonna take a while, obviously, because you keep resetting your W with catching axes. But if it flash away or something, or heal away, or ghost away. And at the very end, when you run out of range, that's when you use your E to CC them and get them back into your range. It's kind of overkill to use it when they're still in your range. Especially because they have a chance to flash it, and then you've just wasted all the tech PPS for nothing. Do I want to go for this? Oh yeah, this works. Nice one. Wait. We have to wait for the next wave, ideally. He is coming, so we want a lifesteal. Here we go. Oh, got the next. Just need to make sure we're not in the turret, so we're not getting aggro if he shows up. Oh, hello. Ah, I fucked that up. I used my R before my E. Should be the reverse order. Because my E just knocked him out of his... Uh, out of my R. My bad, I wasn't expecting you, uh, Twitch to show up there. The focus there should have been on just one-shotting the Twitch. Which I sort of did, but, uh, messed up the combo, obviously. Yeah, no, you start with the E. The purpose of starting with the E, of course, because you don't actually need it to, um, land the first R, at least. Is just to uh, like for starters, hopefully interrupt one of their autos if they're in the middle of an auto or if they're in the middle of an ability. I don't suppose you can actually interrupt the ability. I don't know. I suppose you can, because you can interrupt abilities with lack of vision. But at the very least, you hopefully interrupt an auto, and then afterwards they're going to be slowed by twenty percent, which makes it so when you land, when you throw the ultimate at them, the first one is obviously guaranteed to hit because it's just so fast they can't react to that. But then the second hit, when it's returning to them... Hang on, I'll fly catch that, nice. Now we use E. Nice one. Poor... Poor Jin. Um, yeah, then they're slowed by 20% for the return axe, which is much less likely to hit without having a slow. So there's two different purposes. One, hopefully interrupting an auto. And second, just guaranteeing the second R hit. So that's where you start with E and then throw R, like after an auto attack at least. God damn it. I didn't expect the turret to start focusing me there. Let's go into this brush. Okay, we healed, which turned out to be a bit overkill. Just in case. Is the red buff up? It is. Huge. Let's go lifestyle off that. And steal it. <coughs> nice one. Ooh. Good shit. Go get a strike. And I'd, ideally, I'd rather not base until I got Infinity Edge. Nice 
Nice one. Did he hit him with that? Couldn't tell. Just one more wave. Hmm. I'm not too convinced by the uh, Dustblade over Infinity Edge. The only thing I liked about this was uh, having this rated Dirk. That was really nice. Probably worth it just for that, but uh, as a threat and power spike. This didn't feel as quite as good as Infinity Edge. But maybe that's just because everybody's fucking building armor early this game for some reason. Probably gonna have to keep testing it. But for sure it's worth it if you just can't afford the... The F-Sword, I would say. Would be much better to pick up Double Longsword over Crick Cloak, for example, as well. I just barely didn't drink it. Oh well. <laughs> Let's go over here, try and use my double axes. Is that a lethal at the orc? It is. Didn't really do any damage to me there though. There we go. I can block all of these. Well, I don't really want to. Oh god, yeah, I don't want to do this. Fuck. Got him. Yeah, you don't want to miss position to try and block general shots for your team. Accidentally did that. All good though. Yeah, I suppose we can do Baron. It's a good call, he just didn't need to be sitting up Baron the whole time. <laughs> nice one. We can actually sell Darren's Blade now. Me as well. I wonder if maybe with blue buff. Ooh, definitely with uh, Sona's stuff of flying water. I have enough uh, ex uh, ability haste to. Oh, hello. Got him. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't get the blue though. Oh well. It wasn't even our jungler. Uh, I suppose we want a group bot, actually. It's weird playing Draven with this low attack speed. Hmm. Nice one. Makes your it somehow makes your axes feel like they're hitting harder as well. Because they're so spaced out. It's like Draven is like really taking his time to throw each axe really hard, you know? Sona, what are you doing? What the hell? Damn it. Missed one. Alright, goodbye, Kane. <laughs> My team just feels like taking damage. I 
And of course, the reason why we're grouped bot instead of top is just because the Drake was coming up in a minute. So we want to be closest to the nearest objective in case we don't actually push to end. That barely broke a shield. What? Jesus, these goals. Alright, let's go ahead and end. GG. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, because I think it will be the last one. Last game of this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, gamers.